what I've done here is I've brought up our instance creator tool. And um, this basically is very similar in layout to what I showed you with the, uh, the taxonomy tool. In this case, this is where we actually get to enter information about uh, the actual values. On the left-hand side, again, you can see this list of all the various elements in the uh, taxonomy, so you know up front what values I'm going to have to add. And if I want to know anything about those values, I can then look, I can click on one of them, equity in earnings, and I can see it's a monetary item type and a duration. You'll see that we have no context defined. There's a little pink uh, indication there in the actual um, document itself. So the first thing we need to do is to create a context. Very simple. I just select the context tab down the bottom and add. I give it an ID and I say current or period. I go over to the dates. I say it's going to be a duration. Okay, let's say we're going to make it for this financial year. So I go back and I'll start on July the first, uh, yes, July the first. 2008, and I'm going to go through to the end of June 2009. I'm going to give it an identifier, A, B, C, D, and a scheme. I'll use a ticker code. And that's basically all I'm required to do to create that context. And you can see it here down the bottom. You'll notice that it still says no units defined. That's fine. We get to uh, select units for an instance document. Now, in this case, we're going to select uh, US dollars as the, the, um, the unit. I'll give it an ID of USD, and then I'll go down and I'll align it with the correct um, specification for the US dollar based on the ISO standard. And that's all I have to do. Now I'm free to enter any information. And I simply enter it here in these boxes here, basically like Excel. Now if you'll just pause with me, uh, hold with me a minute, I'll just show you one that's already completed. So I'll just upload one. There we go. Sorry for the slight delay. The, you'll see here that this one here has all the values um, in it, and again, we can see on the left-hand side the elements, but here we have three separate contexts, current for period, previous for period, and two-year pre um, previous period. Down the bottom, it shows that we've got a calculation error because we've actually entered a, a figure incorrectly. And we can either see this when it's loaded, or we can actually go to the tools and say, okay, do a calculation check for me. And it will come back, and it will go through, and you'll see there in red that something's wrong with the other income total. Either the total's wrong, or one of the figures I've entered is incorrect. If I go back to the presentation link view of that, you'll see that it's now switched on showing me both the value and the calculated value so that I can actually see here in a very easy to read way where the error is occurring. Now, in this case, it's actually the interest income I put at um, $10 million. And clearly, in this day and age, there's no way we're going to get $10 million in, in interest income. So by changing that back to its correct value of $7 million, you'll see that the error disappears. So we can use this tool not only to enter data, but also to validate it.